hi guys welcome back to my channel for today's video we're going to be doing a shop my stash for the week I, it's been about two weeks since i last did mine i ended up taking everything out cleaning this out i cleaned basically all of my table and i cleaned all these containers and my lipstick so everything is clean and fresh i but managed to get my bare necessities palette like the outside of it to look like brand new which is so sweet i disinfected it and i just wiped it down with like a I don't know, what do you call it, like a washcloth? And I like scrubbed it so like everything came out. I mean, the inside still looks tragic, but the outside looks clean, which is so nice because it looks like it's brand new, which I love. Um, so I've been using this palette a lot. I've been using the Zodiac from Kathleen Lights. I know she released a new palette, but I've been reaching for this one. I've been using my Revolution bronzer a lot. So, and I just have a couple of single shadows. That I've been kind of reaching for and using. So I'm going to kind of keep these products. Oh, and a Rare, Rare Beauty Mascara Mini. Uh, I will be doing my video of me doing my makeup when I use these picks. But for now, we're just going to pick some things out. So if that's something you guys are interested in, make sure you guys hit the like button. Make sure you guys subscribe. And let's get into this week's shop and stash. So we're going to start with the base products. And if I'm honest... I don't really know what I want to pick for my base products. I want to try to get you guys in here as much as possible. There we go. So I have my base products. I have powders, concealers, and sponges. And primers as well back here. Um, I've been wanting to go with something more poreless. So I'm going to use my e.l.f. Putty Primer. This is a favorite and honestly one of my top primers. This is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer, primer, the original one. So I'm going to choose this as a primer. I want to choose the Revolution Eye Bright Under Eye Illuminating Concealer. I don't have a lot of it left, so I want to use it more. I'm also using my Project Pan interchangeably. I've also been using a lot of the NYX Bear With Me Concealer, which I do enjoy. So I'm going to pick this one again for foundation products. I want to choose my... Secret Clear and BB Cream because I feel like I'm almost finished. I've been using this one a lot as well. So I'm going to pick that one. I am also going to pick my Beauty Blender Bounce Skin Tint. My kids are playing in the background. Uh, and I have this in three point, or medium three, I'm sorry. So I'm going to pick that one. I also want to use my Becca Light Shift. I've been using this one a lot in combination with a lot of my bases. It just gives me a glowy base. It reminds me a lot of my of what I think the Charlotte Tilbury and the new e.l.f. glow would do for your skin, which just kind of gives you a glowy base. So I'm going to use that one. I also want to reach for my Kosas Cloud Set Powder and Comfy. Uh, let's see here. What else? I want to reach for Nikia Joy Translucent Powder. This is a velvet finishing powder. It's just smells divine it smells like cupcakes so i'm gonna choose this one and i think that is it from the store um let's just go to my next drawer which i believe is my cheek products and you don't see palettes here because i have some palettes that i this is what i've been kind of like wanting to reach for the most so i have a bunch of lip products i have my project pan items here I have the Charlotte Tilbury Duo, I have the Glow Palette from MAC, my Hourglass Palette that was sent to me by Mariella, which is so nice of her to send over to me, the Patrick Ta Major Dimension 2, and my... I heard somebody knock. I'm just going to pretend no one's home. This is the <laughs> Dose of Colors Frankation Palette. So these are products that I just kind of want to make it a target to use this week, and you know, that's why they're sitting there. I already did pick a powder product for my bronzer, so let's go with the cream bronzer. I want to try to finish the Hollywood Contour one from Charlotte Tilbury, so that's what I'm going to pick. I used it in a video when I did my Beshi Beauty singles, and I love how it looks, so I'm going to pick it again. Um, let's go with my... Let's go with Physicians Formula. Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. This is the Bread and Butter in Toasty. Love this bronzer. The smell of it is divine it smells like bread <laughs> uh i have the new beauty blender bounce bronzer highlighter and i got this one sent to me my cousin had gone into sephora and ulta and she bought a bunch of stuff so she sent some things over to me she lives in another state so she was really kind she sent a couple products over and i mentioned that i wanted to try this one 
This is the Beauty Blender Bounce Magic Fit Creamy Bronzer and Highlighter Duo. So on the top of it, it has, it kind of reminds me of Kosa, or not Kosa, um, it reminds me of the Kaja Bento Boxes, but it has a highlighter on the top with a little mirror. And then you get your cream bronzer. And this is, again, the shade Pearl Buff. Ooh, it feels so smooth. Ooh, I think I'm going to love this. So I'm going to pick this one as well. And I have the Revolution Bronzer from the Cool Bronzer as a powder. So I'm going to keep that one. This feels really nice. Oh, my goodness. Kind of reminds me of a little bit smoother than the Full Body. So I'm going to pick this one. Um, here, let's see. For blush, let's go with, my kids are playing games, I'm sorry about that. Let's go with my, I want to use more of my nude sticks, these are kind of getting older. So I have Sweet, Sweet Peach Peony, I have In the Nude and Body Language. I've been reaching for these a lot, so I want to reach for them again for this week. And I think I'm going to choose my highlighter, which is going to be the... Westman Atelier Pot de Sante Highlighter Tinted Loaded, and as well as the Beauty Blender one that is on here on the top of this one. Let's swatch it. This packaging is kind of hard to open. So it is a cream highlighter as well. Oh, it looks really pretty. All right, let's choose this one. Um, and then I think we're going to go on to eyeshadow palettes here. What was that? Let's go into eyeshadow palettes. I hope you guys can see. So I organized everything kind of to what I currently have in my collection. Okay. Um, I want to pick my It's My Pleasure palette. I want to use the purples in this palette. I know I've been wanting to reach for it for a while now, so I'm going to pick this one. I'm also going to... Choose the Odin's Eye and Tina Fancy Face Palette. This is the Hummingbird Palette. Just has some beautiful, colorful shades that I want to use as toppers. And I think let's go with oh uh, I don't know. Let's go with Going Coconuts. Actually, no. I want to stick to the other palettes I mentioned. So I'm using the Zodiac and the Bare Necessities. And I have a bunch of singles. So let's. I'm going to stick to that right now. So let's go on to kind of wrapping up and showing you guys everything that I picked up for this week. So I'm giving you kind of like an overhead view so you guys can see everything. I mentioned that I have this little caddy, the products that I want to reach for. So I'm going to reach for these as well as what I have in front of me. So my nude sticks, blushes, these are the um, nudies, nude sticks. I have some mattes and I have some, or one of the bloom, which is like more hydrating version. So I'm going to pick these. I have my Project Pan products here as well, but I'm going to pick those for blushes. For bronzer, I have the new Beauty Blender Bounce Magic Fit Creamy Bronzer and Highlighter Duo in Pearl and Buff. So this is Buff. And the highlighter is called Pearl, which honestly is really hard to open, but it's a beautiful cream bronzer. I have my Beauty Blender Bounce Skin Tint, my NYX Bear With Me Concealer, as well as the Becca Light Shifter and the Secret Clear and BB Cream from Perino in number 27. My Nikia Joy Cosmetics Powder, as well as the Kosas. The Under Eye Bright Illuminator from Revolution, which is just a brightening concealer. Really, really brightening. My Elf Poreless Putty Primer and the Physicians Formula Butter and Bread and Butter, as well as the Revolution Cool Bronzer. I also have the Charlotte Tilbury Contour one, just because I want to get more use and try to finish up this year. I think that's going to be an empty, hopefully, by the end of the year. And last but not least, my Western Atelier Bronze uh, Tinted Loaded Highlighter in Peau de Sante, which is a beautiful kind of um, kind of like pinky highlights, which is pretty. Let's just put that there by itself. And then for palettes, I have the Hummingbird Odin's Eye Palette here. This is just a beautiful, beautiful palette. 
really beautiful shades. I want to reach for these blue shades the most, this rotation. They're just so pretty. And this fancy shade is just unique. Can you guys see that? I don't even know if you can see it, but they're really pretty. Oh, my whole hand just freaking. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Okay. And then I have my It's My Pleasure palette from ColourPop. This is what that looks like. And as I mentioned previously, I have the Zodiac Kathleen Lights palette in here. I've been wanting to reach for that one more, so I've been reaching for it. I've been enjoying using a lot of the mattes, some of the shimmers. Um, I'm having trouble with this, the Capricorn, because it has some shimmer in it. It's like a matte with a bunch of shimmers, and it's pretty, but it's just a little bit harder to work with. But I do like it. My Bare Necessities is obviously here. I don't really want to touch it because my hands are dirty, and I just cleaned mine. The inside looks uh, much worse. I managed to clean the outside of it with a washcloth and some disinfecting spray, but I want to keep it as clean as possible. And then I have a bunch of singles, which I will swatch for you guys. I have some new shadows. If you did not watch my Beshi Beauty Shiny Things Trio video, I have that video up on my channel. But I want to swatch some of the single shadows I've been using along with the Beshi Beauty singles. I've just been obsessed with this um, little trio from Beshi Beauty, and I cannot wait to continue to use it and love it a lot more than I already have. Um, so there's, there's a lot of shades in here. Uh, that I have been enjoying and just loving to use. So that's what I have here. But let's watch some single shadows. The first one is the I Heart This Little Super Shock shade from ColourPop. That is I Heart This. Then I have the A Little Quirky, which I used in a previous shot my stash, but I've just been obsessed with it so much. This is A Little Quirky. You can just see how beautiful they are. The color tattoo roller liner. This uh, roller shade, I'm sorry, roller high roller line uh, shade. It's just also very beautiful. I love to use this and like something like that on top of it. I love how that looks. My color pop Ritz shadow, which I adore. This is just so pretty. Look at that shine. Oh my goodness. I have ColourPop and I believe it's called Kush. Right there. You can see how different all of those are. And it also helps me, honestly. And last, I have Abbott Kinney or Abbott Kinney. A B O B O T. Abbott Kinney. Which reminds me a lot of the high roller, but with a shimmer in it. It's so stunning. A little bit of um, a little quirky, but you'll see the difference right away. So this is Abbott Kinney, and this is a little quirky. Wait, one, two, yep. Yeah. So there is differences, and I just love all of these. So much so that I want to reach for them. Along with my Beshi Beauty singles, you guys have, did not watch that video, make sure you guys go back to my channel and watch the most recent video and by the way I've been again like I said I have a really good feeling about this brand and I'm really excited to continue to use their single shadows they're just so stunning like there's a lot of like they never use glitter in their shadows it's all mica based so they're not glitters but they're just so pretty and I don't want to swatch them because I'm going to get glitter everywhere but I want to use this ones as well let me close all of these up and put them in here and that wraps up my Shop My Stash. I'm so happy and excited to use this Shop My Stash. I've been loving using these shadows and playing with what's in my collection. So much so that I am just enjoying my makeup. And I haven't bought anything. I do have some things in my current Ulta cart. That New Dubious palette, the Garden one, I've been like obsessing over it. But I chose the Fancy Face because of it because it has some of those really unique shades. And again, I just want to reach for my collection, what I have, what I've been loving. Cannot wait to continue to play with these and 
yeah, that involved, uh, it concludes my shot, my stash. I hope you guys like the picks that I used. I hope you guys are excited to see me do eye looks because I've been planning on doing a lot of get ready with get ready's with me. And I hope you guys have a good day night wherever you guys are, whenever you see this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.